flying hot rod big. You can't ever show without me, baby. Here in TJ Sawmill, and tonight the hero killers are in the house, and they are looking for Team IOU. That's right, baby. TJ Sawmill has been invaded, baby. They didn't say change was coming. They're showing change is here. My boys, the hero killers in the East House. Eric Andrews, Jeremiah Plunkett, and more. And it's that time, Hot Rod Biggs. What time is it, baby? It's time for Saw. It's showtime. And Saw starts now.
Johnson along with Hot Rod Biggs and we are ringside for an NWA TV title championship matchup. It is buzzed up against champion Jeremiah Plunkett. Jeremiah Plunkett has come out on top in a lot of situations where the deck has been stacked against him, Jack Johnson. But when is the last time you've seen, or have you ever seen, Jeremiah Plunkett in there with the man, 400 plus pounds of pure monster and buzzed up, baby. And the early success of total non-stop action wrestling back when they were over at the Nashville Fairgrounds, back when they were thriving. The Dup Brothers had a great run and buzzed up was part of that. Now he's here tonight, here in the sawmill, his career still very much alive, still very much a powerful man, probably more powerful than he's ever been at this weight and size right now. And he is giving the NWA television champion, Jeremiah Plunkett, something to fear. You know, Buzz Dup is the only man that I've seen Bam Bam Bigelow, God rest his soul, back down from was Buzz Dup, baby. And now Plunkett is dealing with Brother Bruce's Brother Bruce <laughs> Bruce is Dup. just love it right here in TJ Sawmill. Love it, Hot Rod Biggs. Love being here with you. As we see Buzz Dup I know you chasing Plunkett around the ring. Oh, buzzed up. Putting that heavy shoulder, and I do mean heavy, right into the midsection for the NWA television champion belt usually resides. You know, Jeremiah Plunkett has defeated the odds time and time and time again. And if anybody has shown JP some love, baby, it's been Hot Rod Big. But tonight, I predict will be his final night as the NWA television champion. Plunky, just a few weeks ago, we were talking in high hopes about his Australian tour coming up. But buzzed up very well, may put an end to all of that. Right here tonight at TJ Sawmill, NWA Inferno, baby. This is what makes Saw a cut above the rest. Pocket with a shoulder into buzzed up. And now, oh, sunset flipping. He's not going to fall down on him, is he? Oh, no. 400 pounds right across the rib cage, baby. Plunkett is lucky if he can breathe right now. Two count, and no, it just takes one big punch from a big man. I can't believe he kicked out of that, Jack Johnson. I think that Buzzy led him up because he wanted to beat him up. Double axe handles over the back. It could be just that scenario that you described. He's raking Plunkett across the back. There's finally an opponent in the square circle that that knockout punch may not knock out. Buzz Up's body could soak up a lot of punches, and it has over the years. We'll see. Oh, big, heavy headbutt right there. Pound for pound, the baddest man around. Brought in by Bro. Bruce. Did you hear that? I had to pause for that shot. Give him another one, Buzzy. That is a pork chop, and Plunkett responds with a heavy forearm. Dazing, buzzed up, buzzed up, whip, reversal, plunk into the corner. Oh! Ah, That's a lot of weight. Hey, baby, shades of King Kong Bundy are dancing through my head, baby, as I see Jeremiah Plunkett damn near motionless in the corner after being squashed between 400 pounds of buzzed up and three steel turnbuckles. Buzzed up, again ramming the shoulder into Plunkett. He's just taking the wind out of Plunkett so far. Plunkett over to the corner, leaps up, but is caught by Duff and dropped right on the turnbuckle. Oh, follows that up with a... 
with a big running, powerful drive as Plunkett goes down. Buzzed up could be the man to end the streak of Jeremiah Plunkett. JP, it's been a hell of a run. The knockout! Oh, here's the cover. One, two, three. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still NWA television champion, Jeremiah Plunkett retains the NWA television title over Buzzed Up right here in TJ Sawmill. A great effort by Buzzed Up, but Hot Rod Biggs, the big man, couldn't even finish our current NWA television champion off for those big pork chops. I cannot believe that Jeremiah Plunkett just took down four Found the buzz up the one man that I thought could withstand the knockout punch was knocked out by Jeremiah Plunkett. Ladies and gentlemen, as bad as I hate to agree with you, Jack Johnson, still your NWA television champion. Jeremiah you heard it right there. We'll be right back, fans, with more right here on Southern All Star Wrestling. Yeah, September 28th? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Excuse I'll me, Eric. Yeah, Can I, I talk to you a minute? Second, oh, well. Yes. Well, how you been doing, man? I have been aiming to get with you. How you doing mentally? I'm good. What happened a couple I'm weeks ago? I'm good. I'm good. Everything's good. You good? I'm good. Now I want to know, have you found out who, who did it? you have any idea who hit you like that? Man, I, I really don't know. But if I ever find out who it was, there's going to be some hell to pay. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, September 28th. Looking for the latest news on NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling? Want to check out exclusive matches never seen on television? Maybe you'd like to get free ticket offers for upcoming SAW live events. Well, check out NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling online at facebook.com forward slash NWA SAW and hit the like button to stay up to date on the latest happenings as well as interact with other NWA SAW fans. NWA SAW.com or facebook.com forward slash NWA Saul for all your SAW online needs. Is that Eric Andrews got knocked a couple weeks ago. And from what I'm hearing, he's telling everybody he's okay. Oh, Tony Falk, I'm okay. But what I'm hearing is that he has a concussion still. And there ain't nothing like a wounded champion. And people that's in my position wants to take what he got. And since he's injured, well, why not be optimistic and go ahead and take that title? Eric, shut up. You any kind of dignity and pride in that bald-headed body of yours, come on out here and defend that title. Shut up! He's injured. He might not even come out. I think he got a concussion. But him saying to Tony Falk, he's okay, come on out here, Eric. We'll see about that. And his opponent tonight, the current National Wrestling Alliance, Summer. Heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric the Dragon Andrews. Eric the Dragon Andrews will be facing Sean Hoodrick. We'll have that coming up right after this, Sean. Mufflers, brakes, and more. Robert and the gang have over 40 years experience offering shocks, AC repair, CV joints, dual exhaust, tune-ups, admissions control, and engine diagnostics. They're located at 1400 Dickerson Road, open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or log on to mufflersbrakesandmore.com. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So you're going to Australia it's down under. I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, 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 he's hurt. He's hurt. He's all good. Let's get some help in here, guys. Help! 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 Help
Help! 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 Hey, something is going on, baby. Right, see you taking Last tissue week, samples. It was Mr. Eric Andrews. This week, it was Drew Haskins. Who knows, Jack Johnson? You could be next. And Sean Hunter is feeling the wrath of Eric the Dragon Andrews going for the win early, but it's going to take more than that to beat Mr. Athleticism personified, Sean Hunter. And you know what we're talking about? People being athletic and people being personified. I don't want to give a shout out to my boy, Flynn Wilson. Mobile Solutions, baby. Terry B, baby. We love you. Eric Andrews going. Two count only. I didn't Johnson. even know you, you know knew Flint Wilson. You talk too much. I watched Flint Wilson for years back in the 70s. I'm, I'm proud that you know him. Eric the Dragon Andrews. Hey. Last for the hold. You talk too much, Jack. Flip is my boy. If you say so, hot dog. A great comedian. Up there with Joan Rivers and all of them. Eric the Dragon Andrews has the hold on. Mr. Athleticism personified. Not looking very athletic right now outside of the fact he's being rolled around on his shoulders. You know, something tells me that a woman or two has been in that position with Eric Andrews. Oh! But you know, Sean Hoodrich is in the corner now and he has been taken to the midsection. Probably like a couple other women. Oh, Mr. Eric Andrews. Hang on a minute. the across the ropes and the Southern Heavyweight Champion is on fire. Wait, did, did Anthony Wayne, was he pulled in front of Hoodrich or, oh, Hoodrich with the forearm and fist to the head. He hit him in the back of the head. You know why? Because he knows that Eric Andrews has no business being in the ring. He says he was cleared by the doctor. Hoodrich doctors. used Anthony Wayne as a human shield. Here he comes and, oh! Sean Hoodrich looking a little bit astonished right there, baby. Trying to use peanut head. <laughs> I can't help it, man. You know, it is what Come it is. Come on. He tried to use him as a human shield. He done the dirty deed. He used it. He just proved that the champion should have taken a week off, baby. Nobody knows who laid him out. Who knows if we'll ever find out who laid him out. But right here, just a moment ago. No! It's a bad hatter. Wow. Is there any question why NWA Inferno is the greatest show to grace television, Facebook, YouTube, and all of the World Wide Web, baby? Right here from TJ Sawmill. Somebody's got to tune down your man talk, Rod Biggs. Have them look at you and keep you for a while. Sean Hoodrich and Eric the Dragon Andrews. Eric Andrews essentially, although it wasn't a punch, he has the effects of a rabbit punch right to the back of his head and hasn't recovered yet. Yeah, Eric Andrews, hey, they say pride comes before the fall and Eric Andrews can't take anything away from his athleticism, although he is facing Mr. Athleticism personified. We can't take anything away from the wheel no, the Mad Hatter. Or the pride of Eric Andrews for wanting to come to the sawmill and be a fighting champion and defend his title like he was scheduled. He says he was clear from the doctor. We seen Sean Hooters kick him in the back of the head. Eric Andrews hasn't fared too well since then. Concussions Maybe. are a serious thing. I've had nine of them. Jack, how many of you had? I don't even remember. Hoodridge in, Andrews ducks, and he goes back oh, down. Beautiful textbook drop kick. Did I tell you that I love my boy Flip? Speaking of Flip, hey, watch this Flip right here. <laughs> Eric the Dragon, out. Andrews is not moving. He, he's not moving. Anthony Wayne picks the hand up. He goes straight down. Oh, Sean Hudris doesn't care. He's hitting him right in the top of the head. Hey, if, if the concussion was sustained, it's just been reinverted, baby. I think there's a mobile solution that needs to take place right now. Oh. Eric Andrews raked across the back. I love this new and improved, dare I say, athleticism personified. I love the vicious streak we're seeing out of Sean Hoodridge. Jack Johnson, 
I'm on fire tonight. You said it, Hot Rod Biggs. You're you're as hot as I've ever seen you. Well, you know, I can't help you. know, they've come out here and forced me to sit next to you. Somebody has to entertain me, so I might as well do it myself. I'm buying stock in Monster Energy. I know that, Hot Rod. Sean Hoodrich is having his way with Eric the Dragon Andrews here tonight in TJ Sawmill. It is looking terrible for Andrews as he's not been able to do much at all. I mean, he was attacked earlier. You got to wonder, like you said, Hot Rod Biggs, we've seen the effect of your nine concussions. Eric Andrews has had a couple within a short time. A concussion, if you don't know, is pretty much the brain swimming around in the skull. And that throws you off when you've got to do something with your motor skills like wrestle or, or move or fight. And Eric Andrews just hasn't got it together yet, but he is fighting back with blows to the midsection of Hoodrich. This is the most life we've seen out of him so far, but it's still way off the pace for the Dragon. You know, Jack Johnson, I'm impressed. You know how to use Wikipedia after all. You, very, very good description of concussion there. I would like to see the scans that Mr. Andrews had as he visited the emergency room after he was attacked. He knows, I know it wasn't the hero killers, but somebody's out for you, Mr. Andrews. Looking for the latest news on NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling? Want to check out exclusive matches never seen on television? Maybe you'd like to get free ticket offers for upcoming SAW live events. Well, check out NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling online at facebook.com forward slash NWASAW and hit the like button to stay up to date on the latest happenings as well as interact with other NWASAW fans. NWASAW.com or facebook.com forward slash NWASAW for all your SAW online needs. He looks a little sick. I mean, his people have a look to him when they're not right, and he's got that. He just doesn't know. I mean, he's working on pure athletic reflex, and there goes Hudrich. Eric Andrews is able to backdrop Sean Hudrich up and over eight foot, maybe ten foot, whatever it is, over the top rope out to the floor, acting on pure instinct alone is the champion, Eric Andrews. He is not in his own head, baby. That concussion, whoever it is, and we will get to the bottom of it. I haven't yet, but I'm going to. Somebody has been laying people out. And Andrews, oh, jerks hundreds right back in the ring. Wow. What a comeback. Andrews, oh, flying clothesline. Andrews back elbow. He's saving it up, picking his spots. Spinning heel kick, and Hoodrich goes down. You know, I was just talking about that killer instinct, that presence of mind, the movement of a true professional is knowing where you are every second. Because unlike you, Jack Johnson, I know, I know a second. Hey, I know that when you're flipped and flopped and punched and pain and beat and banged around that ring, all four corners look the same. In case you're colorblind, all those toes are yellow. Hudrich gets the shoulder up, almost pinned there by Andrews. Andrews, phenomenal that he had a chance to win right there after going this entire match almost, feeling the effects of the chair he got stuck on his head earlier. He is trying, Double and trying to protect his toe. Oh, big back body drop. Unsuccessful attempt right there. Sean Hudrich refusing to let up. The only hope at all. Oh, spear. what a spear. Spear by Sean Hudrich. That is the spear by. That's what he calls it, Hot Rod. You know, the only hope that Eric Andrews has is that if he has enough brain function left to land the infamy. If he hits him with the infamy, maybe, just maybe, he can score a pinfall. And he may not There's even a make cover. it out of this one. Oh, after being stabbed by the spear chucka, he still has enough energy to get the shoulder up. And Hudrich is beside himself. He can't believe it. I'm beside myself too, I can't believe it. Even worse, I'm beside you. NWA, Southern Heavyweight Champion, Eric the Dragon Andrews has fought a valiant battle considering that he came in with a big disadvantage 
earlier in our broadcast, we saw him laid out. We just saw him laying there with a chair around his head. Eric Andrews said he was medically cleared by his physician. Tony Falk, our director of operations, blatantly oh. asked him. Oh, stop. Oh! I thought that was it. I really thought Eric Andrews done the impossible, but it didn't happen. Ducks a close line. Oh. It returns with the spear. Jack Johnson, this is why. It's NWA Inferno, baby. Because everybody here is on fire. Anthony Wayne with the count. Both men down. Who's going to get up first? Will it be the NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion? Will it be Mr. Athleticism personified? The Eric dragon Andrews crawls over. Crawling, literally crawling over for what was only a two count. Eric. Look, just look at the bewilderment on the face. He's got that thousand yard stare, Hot Rod Biggs. He is looking into space pretty much. He doesn't see anything. He His is brain is spinning in that skull. Absolutely pure instinct. Eric Andrews, you have my respect. You've had my respect for years, but sometimes you just got to know when to quit. Eric Andrews calling on his body to function for just a little bit longer. Here comes Hudrich and Hudrich, all the infamy. Hudrich has hit Andrews with his own infamy. They stole Eric Andrews moving, and he's going to win the title with Eric Andrews move. It looks like we've got a new NWA Southern heavyweight champion on the horizon, and what a feather in the cap that would be for one Sean Hudrich. Hudrich is going to go up top. He made sure that Eric Andrews was out, but now he wants to... Well, he's is, looking for the belt. He needs to... And that's it, Sean. Just take the belt. You don't even need the penny. Picking up the belt a little early, if you ask me, as we see Eric Andrews starting to stir. Well, he's holding up the belt here, Hot Rod Big, but he Andrews hasn't... Andrews is done! He hasn't made the pin. He has not he, made the pin. He hit him with the infamy. Nobody kicks out of the infamy. Sean Hendricks knows it. That's why Eric Andrews uses it. It's his title. It's his title, baby. He's we already posing. Champion. He's styling and profiling, strutting. Athletic but he hasn't Santa made the pin. Son of fire. Oh! Eric the Dragon Andrews. You kidding me, Jack? I am not kidding you, Hot Rod Biggs. Did you see what I Here's the cover. One, two, three, that's it. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, Eric the Dragon Andrews. Eric Andrews has done the impossible. Mobile, hostile, agile. Now he has retained his Southern Heavyweight title against every odd. Mr. Andrews, you have my respect. It's the magic of TJ Sawmill where you see things like this happen. Eric the Dragon Andrews. Someone attacked him in the back. It could have been the Hero Killers. It could have been anybody. The Hero Killers will attack you to your face. I'm going to get to the bottom of who's been laying these people out. First it was Eric Andrews. This week it was Drew Haskins. Next week Jack Johnson. Quite frankly, I hope it's you. No, so it's I not can you. Hope no, it wouldn't make any sense. Sure it would. We'll be back with more right here. Stay tuned. You're watching All-Star Wrestling. Mufflers, brakes, and more. Robert and the gang have over 40 years' experience offering shocks, AC repair, CV joints, dual exhaust, tune-ups, admissions control, and engine diagnostics. They're located at 1400 Dickerson Road, open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
or log on to mufflersbreaksandmore.com. Great job tonight. Professional A1. Well, a lot of you people have uh, been curious as to why I'm here. You've seen me around talking uh, and looking at talent. And I've been scouring the internet. I've been watching all the matches that I can to take it in. And honestly, I know for a fact that this is the best promotion to work for and to scour the world for talent. So just to let you all in on a small surprise, in three weeks, I promote and bring out my first sign E to Jimmy Street Promotions. You heard it right there, fans. Your first sign E, any hint of who it might be? That's for me to know and uh, you to find out, buddy. You heard it right there from Jimmy Street fans. You see that, Jack Johnson? His future's so bright, I gotta wear shades, baby. I've been paid for a service. <laughs> and after tonight, Hammer Jack, you will be burned. It's a tough one, but Hammer Jack comes back with a big fist to the midsection. Elbow right to the collarbone, back side of the neck. Hammer Jack is, what's he doing? Tony crushes the chair. And to do some, somebody should check him. I, I don't think he's, what's he got? Maybe a small piece of the chair. So, well, what's that? Oh, there's the meteorite. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hammer Jack. You would have seen Brewster and Too Tough Tony come out. They thought they got the best of me, but you see, I did get my hand raised. But with the flaming fist, he wanted to punch me in the eye and burn me. Hey, you never know what you're gonna see right here in the sawmill, and I guess I'm evidence of that. You know what I'm saying? But Brewster, I know you can hear me, and. Uh, you should know, you can't keep this big bull down. There's no way, this is one bull that you cannot ride. You see, the people know that I am an outlaw, that I am a rule breaker, that I'm known to bend the laws around here, just like you. But that's okay, that makes it an even fight. But see, you can't keep a bull down like I said because I'm about to go crazy. champions there is never an easy night in the sawmill in TJ sawmill as a matter of fact for Cody and Kevin James Weatherby attacked by the hero killers Tim Ernesto took his baby that rusty saw and he lit Kevin Weatherby's back up Wait, they got it. some handcuffs Norey Havoc has pulled out some handcuffs what are they going to do to Cody Weatherby they're taking the already beaten and bloody Cody Weatherby 
Bobby Bayer putting him out of commission. He is now handcuffed to the Oh no, Renesto over in the corner, pounding on Kevin. There's nothing Cody can do. There's nothing he can do to help his brother. The hero killer. Somebody, we need somebody out of this nonsense. has got to stop. Somebody's going to get hurt very seriously here. You can't have a competitor handcuffed to the ring. You can't have this kind of thing go on. Kevin Weatherby Keep is ringing at the that mercy. Bell. We got to wrap this up. mercy of the hero killers. Look, Jim Renesto in that saw. He is just leveled. Kevin Weatherby upside Rod, his Rod head. Rod, Rod Biggs, you need to quit singing the praises of the hero killers and get some help or do something yourself. Get somebody out here. I told this is Mr. sickness. Jack Johnson, this is madness. And I told all everybody at home, the most predominant force, the most dominant Man. thing in tag team wrestling, the I hero killers. Change is here. How does it feel to not have a choice? Nore Havoc delivering some choice words to the Weatherby. Change has indeed come to TJ Sawmill in the form of the Hero Killers. Cody Weatherby, and listen, just look at the mental anguish he's going through, unable to assist his brother, as he is at the mercy of Nore Havoc and the assassin Tim Ernesto. Body slam to the mat. He's on oh, no. the oh, that is disgusting. That is sick. You're talking about mental anguish, hot rod bigs. Cody Weatherby is pouring out some crimson anguish right out of his face. Here comes operations manager Tony Falk. Here comes referee Anthony Wayne. All control is lost. Jeremiah Plunkett sands his boots. Has oh, come look out. out. Ronesto's gone nuts with a saw. Ronesto's out of control. Out of control, out of control Jack Johnson. Somebody's got to stop this. Tired of getting around like this? Then come to Brewster's Touch of Class Auto Sales. Located at 621 Old Hickory Boulevard E. 500 down, home of zero percent. That's My saw comforts me. Mess with him, you mess with me. Vice versa, you mess with us, you mess with this. Change tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event. Making their way to the rail ring at this time. Please welcome Nore Hammy and the assassin Tim Renesto. They are the hero killers. Professional wrestling, you add the Renesto name with the havoc that's going to be created from Nore, and you have devastation personified. Well, let me ask you something, Hot Rod Biggs. You've known Nore Havoc for years. At one time, Nore Havoc was like Jerry Jarrett's 
pet project. I mean, he was going to come up and be this great superstar. Somewhere along the way, something happened to Nore Heaven. He started hanging out with the wrong people. He got with the wrong crowd. Here it is. Years later, he's in the sawmill, and something's wrong. Something, he took the wrong highway. He got off on the wrong exit, and now... I think his career is paying the price. I'm going to tell you what happened. He was hanging with the right people, and the wrong people got in his way, and he walked all over them, baby. Not only did he stomp a mud hole in them, but he moonwalked it dry. And now he's back here in the sawmill with the assassin, Tim Ernesto, and they're going to show you why. The irony is built in the name itself, baby, the Hero Killers. But Hot Rod Biggs, again, over the course of several years, he goes from hanging around Jeff and Jerry Jarrett. Because they are worthless oh, has been. Legends in the business. Here comes No Ray Havoc, but oh, arm drag, arm bar by Nick Iggy. Let's see, here's the difference, Shaq Johnson. You're talking about sports entertainment, and Norway Havoc is the king in professional wrestling. Tim Ernesto is the man in professional wrestling. The sawmill, the marquee is professional wrestling. That's the difference, baby, and that is where it ends. Double twist and take down by Team IOU on Nore Havoc and oh! But Jarrett didn't train him to get out of that. Carry awful. This guy is one sick, diminished individual. They may have this match going in their favor momentarily, but I promise you, they're going to make a mistake and the veterans will capitalize on it. Nick Iggy now tying up the leg of Norey, but Norey reaching across the top of the head and pulling it back. Tim Renesto, the assassin, would love to get in right now, but can't because Norey is in the middle of the ring. You know, if Norey, if he decides to foreclose on either one of these young punks, he'll do it at will. You see what I mean right there? You see it with a kick to the gut. The boy Wonder with it to the rope. Flies under his legs. What is going on? Nori goes for the kick. Nick Iggy is aggravating him. Hey. You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spin it to the wind. And you don't mess with a hero killer, baby. He is signing his own death warrant. Nick Eggy looking at Kerry Awful saying, hey, watch this, and oh, he's in trouble now. Awful trying to make the tag, but oh, Renesto takes down Iggy by both feet. There goes Iggy, oh, right into the pole. I told you, experience wins every single time, baby. And now the boy wonder is going to pay a man's price. The assassin momentarily tagged in, but it looks like Nore Havoc is raking the eyes. And now, did you Ernesto hear, comes in again. Did you hear the boy wonder screaming and writhing in pain? Anybody's going to scream with fingers in their eyes or anywhere else. That's what the hero killers are all about. Because they're in the his house, baby! I think we all know that they're in the his house, Hot Rod Dicks, whatever, whatever that means. They're in the sawmill tonight, TJ Sawmill, and they're taking on Team IOU. Here comes Havoc. Punching the ribs and punishing the ribs of Nick Iggy. Carry off of, can't seem to get in on any of this action. This is the house that Norway built. He oh, has reunited the most devastating faction in professional wrestling history. The two original members of the Hero Killers are back together and domination has been unleashed. Here goes Iggy. Oh, he goes down. You never did answer the question for me, Hot Rod Biggs, besides uh, if you if you consider disparaging the great Jarrett's uh, an answer to a question, what happened to Dore Havoc between the time the Jarrett's brought him up to be a superstar to what he is today, hanging around the assassin Tim Renesto and being on the outside 
interfering in everybody's match, and I suspect he and Renesto are behind all these mysterious knockouts we see backstage. You want to know the answer? I'm going to answer your question. 25 I'm... words or less. I can make it real easy for you, baby. Go ahead. Oh. He's smart enough, and he got away from those crooks, and now he is a man's man as he covers the boy wonder. And if that mangy mutt had kept his ass on the side of the ring, oh. the match would be over. This match could be over soon anyway. We oh, neck kicky on the outside. Looking for the latest news on NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling? Want to check out exclusive matches never seen on television? Maybe you'd like to get free ticket offers for upcoming SAW Live events. Well, check out NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling online at facebook.com forward slash NWASAW and hit the like button to stay up to date on the latest happenings as well as interact with other NWASAW fans. NWASAW.com or facebook.com forward slash NWASAW for all your SAW online needs. Pro killer, Nor Ray Havoc, is back because he's in the in house and he hit him with the foreclosure, baby. And he has decided not to cover him but to keep delivering punishment. Jack Johnson, I love the hero killer. I think you've got that point made, Hot Rod Biggs. You, you love the hero killers, and that's all well and good in that yeah. mind that that space and, and yeah. time and infinity that you and Tim Renesto share a place that I'll never visit I hope the cameras just caught and seen what I seen when the look that Tim Renesto just gave you right before he slid down so perfectly out of the referee's line of vision to give Norway Havoc the assist the little bit of extra leverage to add to the punishment being dealt, the pressure being felt by the boy wonder, Nikki. The Fujiwara armbar is devastating enough that when you get help from Tim Renesto to apply it, it's a wonder. Young Nick Iggy has an arm left. He has an arm left because the hero killers have decided not to chew it off yet. And there's nothing that the mangy mutt on the apron can do about it. Iggy taking some brutal punishment in this match again. Carry awful. Barely has any ring time. They have, oh, Renesto with a big kick to Iggy. And now Havoc hits his arms and he's just getting destroyed in the corner. One half of Team IOU is going down quickly. And Carry Awful can do nothing but look on. Let's just call it like it is. Let's call a spade a spade. The hero killers could have ended this match at any point they wanted to. This match continues because they are enjoying themselves. They haven't had this much fun since last time they beat somebody up. Which wasn't that long ago, Jack Johnson? It, no, it wasn't that long ago. It was actually, I suspect, before the show, during the show, during the matches. I mean, these guys do do enjoy their work. It's a it's a sick thing they do, but indeed they do enjoy it. As we see Iggy and the assassin. Oh, that is what I call professionalism. Well, that Iggy. was the Curly Howard right there. That's not professional at all. What a well-placed thumb to the eye, baby. Tim Renesto, oh my oh. God, nobody home. Tide could be turning if Nick Iggy can make that tag to carry off of. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Come on, Timmy, baby. Come on. He wants to make that tag and awful wants that tag. He's got it oh in the Music God. City Mutt is running wild and foaming at the mouth. He is cleaning house. There goes Ernesto. There goes Nore Havoc and oh, right into each other. The hero killers are been victims of the mangy butt. I can't believe what I'm seeing, but he's making the rookie mistake. He's giving the hero killers time to he's recuperate. He's dropping the straps. What the hell is he doing? Here comes Dore quickly up, big punch. 
Now Havoc, climbing up the ropes, gets a headbutt from Awful. Battling out, here comes Nick Iggy, across the back. No, wait a minute. Now you're gonna justify this two oh. situation. Oh my, down goes Norray. Renesto, leg takedown of Iggy. He's got him on the outside, end of the pole. One, two, three, no. No, only a two count. Almost a pin on Havoc from the Music City Mud. And hey, Renesto, Renesto grabs the saw. Renesto's got his season. He's got a saw. Oh. <laughs> this Anthony Wayne has thrown it out. Here comes so Cody Weatherby. Weatherby. Here comes Kevin James Weatherby. What are they doing? They've been there. They've got pieces of two by four. What justifies them bringing two by fours to try? The same thing that justifies the hero killers taking over and hijacking Southern All-Star Wrestling all night long. But they're the hero killers. They can do that. I understand that. You know, I'm pretty tired, Jack Johnson. It's hard being this awesome. Why don't you go home with the hero killers? Wherever they go. So we're talking about Timberless. Over to the Justice we're Center or something. Look at the laughter, baby. Lavishing in the laughter with luxury. Tim Ernesto cradling his song.